Good evening, everyone. Tonight I'd like to give you a couple of ideas on how to create a warm, gentle tone. And I thought, what better piece to do it with than When You Wish Upon a Star. It's from the movie Pinocchio, the Disney movie. And you have to be able to dream to be able to play a piece like that. And it, your tone can't sound forced or harsh. It has to be tender and gentle and warm. So if your hand feels anything other than nothing, it's going to be forcing the sound, and you don't want to force the hammer in any way. So you want to be able to use gravity and flop through, and then just at some point brush the key or pluck it. Just for hear the tone you want in your head first, and <coughs> can be magical. So when you think of a pulse, if you think of the car safety belt bell that goes off when you get in the car if you haven't done up your belt gong 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 it's so regular so the time between those bells is a fixed thing and you have to be able to set that in your head as a fixed amount of time and then if something happens on the bell then that's great if it happens halfway in between it has to be exactly halfway in between has to be like two eighths within the quarter, that sort of thing. So you have to be able to keep the pulse, have dynamic range, and have this smoothness and this gentle tone. But you have to be also able to shape the ends of your phrases and finish the phrase before you, and then breathe and take the time to take air into your lungs to say the next, to start to sing the next phrase, really. So I'll try the piece a little bit and just see if I can get some of that into it, because there's a lot of components there <laughs> to make it actually happen. So. So I hope that gives you a few ideas when you're practicing in terms of not forcing the tone by forcing your hands into the piano, but rather releasing on the way up and then just flopping down through so gently and brushing the key and taking just the amount of sound you want while the wrist is so limpid and relaxed and the hand is loose. If you can just say before you pass through that zone, relax my hand. Then when you go to play it, it can be as magic as you want. It's including the back of the upper arm. It's your whole body. It's everything. And it's wonderful to practice like that because then you're really listening to your music from your soul, from the way you sing it. And that's, that's when you start to be able to be creative in your playing. So anyway, I hope that gives you a few ideas for tonight. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Have a good night. Bye-bye.